All right, guys, happy Thursday. Um, we are here on Thursday, April 30th. Let's walk through your directions for today and let me show you a couple examples of what you'll be working on today, all right? So your objective is I can finalize my project by adding pictures and colors. So now that your project's done, we're gonna make it a little bit fancy today, okay? So first you're watching the screencast, which you're doing right now, and then you're gonna go back and add to your slides. Remember that your sample project is here if you ever need to look back at it. Um, and your activity is just going back and adding some different color and pictures, okay? So when I'm looking at this, guys, I am really proud of the information that I have on my slides. I worked really hard on getting those there, but it's kind of boring, right? When I look at it, it's just kind of like there, right? So let's look at a couple of options that you have. Now, number one thing I need you to listen to, are you listening? Do you promise, okay? Um, is while you're doing this, please make sure that you are not changing it so that I cannot read or somebody cannot read your text, okay? We have to be able to read what you wrote. That's the most important part. This is just making it look a little bit fancy, all right? So make sure we can read what you wrote when you make these changes, okay? So we have a couple of different options here. Um, one would be our insert button. So if you would like, you can add some pictures on each slide or some of your slides about um, your topic. So you go to insert, excuse me, insert image, and here I would say search the web, okay? And if I go over here, I would type in my topic and see what pops up. So like, boom, immediately all sorts of school lunches pop up. So I'm gonna click on one, and then down here I'm hiding it. You can see it says insert. Awesome, so this is a perfect example. I want this picture on my first slide, but can you see what I wrote? Absolutely not, right? So you need to be careful to not get rid of any information but you can use your mouse and you can make it a little bit smaller there, right? And you can use your mouse to add those things to your presentation, um, making sure that we can still read what you wrote, okay? I'm gonna put one more on there because I think it'd be nice to have kind of two in the corner. Um, let's pick that one, why not? Once again, it's huge, right? So I need to minimize it in the corner here and then I can just move it to where I want it. All right, and it's still a little too big, so I need to move it just a little bit more. Awesome. So that is the picture feature that you can use on your slides presentation, all right? So that's one option that you have um, to make it just a little bit fancier, a little bit pretty. One other thing that you can consider is changing the theme. So I just chose like a basic um, background for you guys, really plain and simple. But if you want to change the theme, you would go right up here to where it says slide. And then down at the bottom, it says change theme. And you'll notice you have some options on some um, kind of preloaded colorful things that you could put on there, right? So you can choose one of these that you think maybe fits your presentation best or your topic best. Remember, you need to make sure it's not accidentally changing um, how your presentation looks. So I clicked on the blue one and you can see it already changed a couple of things for me. So I need to be careful when I go back. So like here, you can't see my name. I'm going to have to move that over um, to make sure that people know who it is, right? Okay, so you have to mess with it just for a little bit. Um, again, the words are the most important part, guys. I don't want you um, to lose what you already have. This is just making it pretty if um, you have a couple minutes to look into that, okay? So I'm going to take a minute to kind of edit mine and show you what mine will look like at the very end. All right, guys, so I'm back and want to show you the changes that I made. So you saw my um, intro slide. So here, guys, I went through and I just added a picture on each one and made sure I could still read um, what I already had written just to help my reader and my audience kind of see what I had to say. So since it has a research question, I have somebody asking a question. Um, this one has a kid eating school lunch on my background knowledge. This one was about how school lunch is expensive, so I put a picture of money. Down here, it was about how kids don't really like school lunch, so I put a frowny face. Next one is about how school lunch can be healthier, so I put some fruits and veggies. And then this one um, is kind of what I learned, another picture of school lunch, and then finally the end for my conclusion. All right, so please let me know how I can help you on making your presentation just a little bit prettier, um, and I hope it goes well for you.